How you guys doing? So I'm making a quick video on my Eagle Industries RRV Rhodesian Recon Vest setup. Uh, I'm just gonna. I've had a ton of guys ask me. They 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 comment on the paint job and say they like the paint job. And a ton of guys ask me like what I have in it and X Y and Z. So I'm gonna go over it quickly. Gonna work looking at the you know looking at the screen right to left, but on my body left to right. Um, I'm going to start this way and work that way. So, um, first off, I have my IFAC, which has, uh, you know, I got my uh, glow stick, red glow stick, cat tourniquet, uh, compressed bandage, um, compressed, compressed gauze, uh, a basic IFAC, um, a moleskin, band-aids, uh, Neosporin, like the small packets of Neosporin. Stuff like that. Um, so that's that's this whole pouch is just the IFAC pouch. But what I have on the top for easy access is my Sunto wristwatch. Um, uh, not wristwatch, wrist compass. That goes on the top of the IFAC. So that's that's the far left wearing it. That's the far left pouch is my IFAC. The, the, the tourniquet is right here. That's the first thing I can grab out of it. And um, then the wrist compass and the... Uh, wrist, uh, wrist compass, glow stick, and compressed bandage. So that's all right there. Left hand side. Um, easy access, non-firing hand, right? So you can maintain a positive um, positive control of your firearm, your, your weapon, um, with your firing hand, right-handed, and utilize your non-firing hand to access the IFAC. So that's why it's on the left-hand side. Then going up, we have... A um, Leatherman Molly pouch. I have this is it can be snare wire or it can be trip wire. It's green. It's thinner. It's not like obviously it's not a what's your jig fishing line. It's a little it's metal fishing line. Let's put it that way, right? So I have that in there with um, a Leatherman surge, uh, great wire cutter, um, wire cutting blades, replaceable wire cutting blades. It has. Uh, four different blades, well, three different blades, and a pair of scissors, uh, straight, serrated, saw, removable saw. You can get new new saw blades for it. So I have that on the left handed the left hand strap, and that's tucked right in there with each other. Then I have my Garmin Seven Hundred One, uh, the Applied Ballistics Edition. I got that from Brownells. Uh, great. I'm still working on learning all the fine, you know, little details of it. Uh, but it is it is a great little p addition to the kit. I didn't have one before. I was just a map and compass guy. I, I still am. But this really, especially with the applied, applied ballistics, because it gives you everything you need, whether you're a marksman or you're just setting up coordinates. Um, uh, in a military application for, you know, uh, um, a fire mission, something like that. I think a that would be incredible for, like, guys, 11 Charlies in the Army, mortarmen in the Army. That would be an incredible piece of kit, incredible piece of kit for them to have. Um, that's on the strap. Working my way down, I have, this is an Eagle Industries pouch. This is an L LBT pouch. Um, it's double and four mag pouches, so I can hold, I can hold eight AR stain mag mag uh, mags or four Kalashnikov mags, four AK mags. Um, the way I have it set up, I have these four green tip, these two black tip, and then these two are, um, they're just regular full metal jacket. For, for, for what I do, I'm going out and about and doing my kit hikes, my kit rucks and things like that. If I, the, the mag I have in my rifle is, has soft points in them. Um, and if I'm, you know, wanting to shoot, I can just take that mag out, put a full metal jacket mag in and just plink with the full metal jacket rounds. I don't have to freaking, um, you know, waste or use any green tip or soft point just to, do some plinking. Um, the reason I carry soft point in the carry rifle itself 
is because you know if you're going to come on an animal and you're carrying 556 five, you don't necessarily want green tip or full metal jacket if you're shooting if you're shooting an animal or maybe something that's attacking you that's going to zip right through it you want a little bit of expansion because you we all know the green tip pen, a penetrate around with a steel core you know say if um a mountain lion that's one of the biggest that's the biggest predator around here mountain lion tries to attack me i could probably hit it with two or three five five before it's on before it's on me hit it with two or three green tip five five six rounds and it's just going to zip through it especially if i'm hit fur and fat it's it's just going to zip through it with no expansion even if it hits bone it'll go through the bone it won't expand the way really a full metal jacket but soft point hunting rounds what so that's really why i carry soft point in my carry mag is for self-defense to be honest so i have eight ar mags and um or four ak mags so that's that's those pouches the, the actual magazine pouches themselves then next to that is a um Gerber, what is it, LMF2, Law Enforcement Military um, First Responder 2, uh, knife, fixed blade knife. Uh, it's not full tang because what it's designed for is you have this, you can punch through glass. Um, this, if you, you can, um, you, if it's in its scabbard, you can use this flat end as an actual hammer. But it's also not a full tang because it's designed... You could actually use it to cut live wires or like stab a circuit breaker. I've never done it. That's how it was, uh, what's the word, advertised back in the day. It also has these holes you can use to lash and make a spear, a spear out of it. Um, great knife. I've had this, yeah, for about a decade now. Um, and I, you know, put, I put it on here because it's a great, it's just a great solid sturdy fixed blade um the the, the sheath has a built-in uh sharpener too so i have i the edge that i have on it is is a kind of utilitarian uh, no the edge i have on it is like a sharp a sharp it's a sharp edge but it the the sharpener itself is more of a utilitarian edge like a 20 degree edge um, then on the clip up here or the ring up here i have a pencil, a pen, pencil, um, climbing carabiner. What I want to do is get a, a decent section of tubular nylon and affix it underneath the magazine pouches. So then I have tubular nylon and and the clip. This, the markings on, what is this good for? I don't know climbing markings. Um, it, I think it's rated for 500 plus load bearing. Um, which is, which is all you really need, unless you're like a serious climber, which that's just there. I need to get, I need to get tubular nylon. That's like the last thing to really put this all together and put and somehow affix it underneath here. Um, but yeah, so I keep that up here, keep it out of the way. I just oriented funny because I'm looking at it. Um, then the last thing is my canteen pouch, canteen, canteen pouch, um, simple two quart U.S. canteen. I also generally, I normally have, um, a South African canteen, but I'm cleaning it right now. Um, this is a, uh, West German, 1986, it's a West German aluminum, very lightweight aluminum canteen cup compared to like the U.S. stainless steel ones. So... That's why I chose that. Wicked, it's wicked lightweight. Then the two pouches on either side of the canteen pouch, like the two little outer pouches, this one has um, one of those Princeton Tech first push button uh, red light off, and then red light, uh, hold on, brighter red light off, and then if you hold down, then it turns on white light. So it's awesome because you, you have to cycle through to get to white light. So... It, it, it helps maintain your night vision, right? So that's on that one side pouch that fits in there just nicely. And on this other side pouch I have, they're not foamies, they're the little silicone earbuds. I was wearing, I wore those the other day. I didn't bring my walkers the other day when I was shooting up in the mountains. Um, I have those. Water purification tablets, enough for 
I mean, that's a one quart. So if it's really dirty water, you put two in. So, you know, what's that? That's 20 tablets. That's, and if it's a really dirty water, that's 10 canteens worth. If it's not, that's 20 canteens worth of water purification tablets. Um, just a simple lighter. Well, look at that. Just kind of tuck that in there. Simple big lighter. I, you know, can paint it. It doesn't really matter because I'm not like pulling it out unless it's like an emergency or a low light situation. So I'm not really worried about the white. Um, and then a small magnifying glass for map reading, for investigating, um, and for fire start. You use this to fire start. Um, lighter's not working, you know, ferro rod that in your pocket's not working. You can literally, you know, use the multi-tool to pull a bullet apart, pour the fucking gunpowder on your little tinder bundle, start the fire with a uh, magnifying glass. So that's, that's the things that are on this side pouch. So, you know, I've got hearing protection, I've got, um, an ability, an ability to be able to go go around at night. I have navigate two different forms of navigation: uh, knife, a, a fixed knife, a multi tool for a a multi a multi tool for a multitude of uses. Now, IFAC um, with with a, it has a basic boo boo kit and then some trauma in it. So there you go. So that's my um, Eagle Industries Rhodesian Recon vest layout. Um, this is, this is a Leatherman, uh, Leatherman marked, a Leatherman made, a Leatherman marked, Leatherman made Molly pouch. Uh, these are both surplus. I think this is a hundred round general purpose, um, Marine Corps surplus, uh, general purpose pouch that I use as my IFAC, Marine Corps surplus canteen pouch, uh, LBT dual mag pouches, and then Eagle Industry dual mag pouches, uh, and Gerber knife and the sheath it came with. So there you go. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. Hope that I answered some questions that guys had. Like I said, the only last thing I really want is a, is a, is a length of tubular nylon that I can attach under here, maybe like 25 foot of tubular nylon on the bottom of it. Um, oh, oh, the, oh, the one thing I didn't say. So you, we, the RRV, you pull this panel up, you attach these to the two rings right up here, right? And you can fit a, a full-size sappy plate in there. And what I have tucked in there, in the back, so I, I normally have this tucked in, right? I have that tucked behind. Um, if I want to carry a plate in my ruck, and then if I know I'm going to do something close, uh, close proximity to an enemy or whatever, I can put the plate in, leave my ruck, put the plate in, and then I, that's why I have this set up. I can put by itself rocket and it's almost like a survival vest with the things on it but a working survival vest or you put the plate on and you know you can do a little direct action or whatnot but so this is tucked in the back pouch it is just a cut down cut down piece of via 17 panel um, you can hold it up orange side hold it up pink side um, you can freaking snap it together you can snap the ends together. I got a cut on my index finger. So there we go. Snap it together. Hold it like this by the end of the string. Swing it around, um, almost like a buzz, like a buzz saw. I mean, you can attach the um, glow stick to it and make it a buzz saw. So that's tucked in the back. So there you go. That's the full RV. I almost forgot about that, uh, just because it's tucked in there and I generally don't use it. So. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that video, and um, see you next time for another gear video. All right.